Okay, so now that we stopped, now that we've saved the day from Saturday morning, woohoo! Did I get rock smashed already? Now that we've saved the day from tournament sanctioned Saturday morning, <laughs> right? Oh god, no! But this move is bad. Do I have another yes, fluffy what? animal that I can like give this to? Do you have a six again? Yeah. There you go. I usually hate making Lanoon the HM friend. Someone's gotta do it. I suppose. Oh, Slath- Slack off probably <laughs> can. Let, let's make the better Pokemon. The box pattern still. There's the box pattern. Um... Please tell me, Pokey move faster. Pokey move faster can learn Rock Smash. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go smash some rocks in a neighboring town. And reunite a black belt and some lady. I think it's like Wally's cousin or something. Yeah, something like that. Because this is like his aunt and uncle. And she says something to the effect of my daughter's boyfriend or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, like... Yeah, then... Does you have to dig a tunnel to see her? Because there was not a tunnel here originally, and they started using, like, machinery equipment. But that was, like, disturbing the local wildlife, so that's why the miners are in the cave going... I want to mine. So this guy was like, I'm going to break these rocks like one at a time over a period of like a year or so until like we can get here. We did it. Strength. Strength. Yeah, too bad these are, uh, too bad those are like fragile, shitty rocks. Uh, yeah. They're fraggle uh, rocks. Yeah, <laughs> too too bad they're too bad they're fragile rock, uh, fragile uh, crumbly rocks because otherwise he could just push them out of the way. Yeah, exactly. Is he strong enough? Strength on a combusket is not a terrible idea. Yeah. Why why did that lady hesitate? She's like, that's wonderful that you could see me anytime. That's wonderful. And now that I've gotten through, I can move in with you. Uh, yeah, uh... My daughter's self-proclaimed boyfriend. Self-proclaimed. <laughs> Hangs out with the Wismer all day. That's great. Oh my god. Leaving this you for the Wismer. Th this Wismer... You are on a bike. I know, but still. I'm on a slow bike. There, I granted its wish. Hail to you! Oh, I should take the XP share off of Swallow now, it doesn't need it. Uh, tentacle, I guess. I'll give it the HM strength. <laughs> Now, Here, hold I this have... HM for me. Yeah, right. I'm just gonna, like, bump everything. Because bikes are useful and easy to wear. Apparently, uh... Apparently being on a bike is, uh... It doesn't matter which bike you're on. It, uh... Yeah. Oh, wait! Being on a bike makes encounter rates lower. That is blatantly uh, false information. Apparently this is from data mining. The uh, game. Apparently it gives the encounter rate an 80% modifier. I guess you're, you're moving so much faster that you probably end up... Anyway, yeah, we found more. these glasses. This guy was looking for glasses. They're, they, they're not the glasses. I'm gonna leave this area without my glasses.
No, with that legal oh, drugs, that vitamin supplement that has not been approved by the FDA, we could make our fluffy animals slightly more tanky or something. HPUP. Yeah. Hip hop. The uh the Hoenn regional form of hop it, you see. <laughs> of course. Anyway, that leads over here, so now we can go over here. Hi, you're you're goods! Goods. Shroom goods. If I were a rain cloud, I would say something creepy anyway. We gotta read people. You know, for catching a fluffy animal you've already caught before. You know, because that's useful information to have. Did I fight all these guys? I don't know if I did. We're about to find out! How... Okay. I appreciate how they've learned from the uh, Gen 1 mistake and there's a ledge you can just jump off. Yeah. Wait. In case, like, what, you trapped yourself somehow? Yeah. There's a very specific spot in Gen 1 where you can get behind a tree without knowing cut. Oh. And then uh, if you save and reload, the uh, the trainer that moved to let you in will be back in their original spot. And oh, it's it's, uh, it's up north of Cer Cerulean, right? Yeah, it's on uh, it's on uh, it's on Trainer Purgatory. I think I know where that is. Hunter really did have a lot of trainers, doesn't it? Yeah. I guess it's an artifact of not being able to like actually re -earn, or, or earn any new money until you uh, get to the league. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's no rematching, and fluffy animals don't drop anything. So unless like you catch a meowth and use payday on wilds or something. Yeah. So. Right, I have Rock Smash. I don't go into the desert, but I go north of Mauville. I'm just yeah. showing off the demoing that this is a place you can go or something. The Devon Corp, which sells unspecified goods. Goods! Goods! Oh no, oh, no. someone took my goods. Roar, Pico! Roar! Uh Especially like how the Devon Corp is based out of like a Baroque cathedral or something. <laughs> awesome. Well, we found this nondescript church, but it was abandoned because Nintendo doesn't allow religion to exist in the world, so uh, it became a corporation. But we also can't have corporations be listed as evil in a children's game, so they just do good things for people forever. That's that's the lore, I, I guess. You know, I never, noticed, I never noticed the corporation thing. Roar! When have you made it through yet? Yeah, I don't know, you could like, I don't know, leave your house. Okay then. Rust Turf Tunnel. Mm-hmm. It's a weird name for a tunnel. Connects Rustboro and Verdon Turf. That's Rust Turf Tunnel. Mm -hmm. It's also the turf of uh, Team Rust. You don't see them in this game because the eco-terrorism kind of overshadows the rest of the plot, but... Local villain team, Team Rust. Local villain team. They're like the Team Skull. They're, they, they're like they Team Skull of Hoenn. They specifically terrorize uh, Malville's uh, power island. Pretty much. The downside of the dinner I ate is it makes me want to drink my entire body weight in liquids. Picnicker Bianca. With a mild shroom. Decently high level shroomish. It's. 
fungally adjacent. Not quite a fun guy. It's a pretty fungal mental Pokemon. Oh my god. Inblur. I don't think that's a real occupation. Well, you see. Start very small fires. Him and his spicy camel. Yep. Oh, what is this? Hello? Oh, that's a battle tower, I think. Trainer Hill, okay. Oh hey, it's more uh, double battles. Well it's it's in an inn. It is an inn in an RPG that doesn't cost me a lot of money. You don't so, even have to plunge off a 30-story cliff to get to it. Right. So, Mint, is it is it is it just me, or do you also see those uh, healing machines? It's like a big old robot face. What the Pokemon Center? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't think they look like much like a face. We interrupt this video game to have some dialogue with an NPC that no one cares about. This is important to the video game. Uh, I think you have a tentacle in a Magnemite? I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. Let's get on television! You'd think they'd have, like, one of the two duo Pokemon sets, you know? Yeah, right? Magnet pole. Very specifically that. Goodbye, magnet. Just drop kick it out of the sky. That's what it gets for spinning. Now let's confuse this thing. Or something. It's not gonna. Oh, it died. Okay. I'm wasting all of my crit luck on things that don't need crit luck. Ready for our close-up. Hi, yeah, we destroyed you. Uh yeah, let's let's have an interview. Has to be short and sweet. Go! Okay, Even so, Kana. I think you use that one? Yeah, he didn't uh the original stock. Probably. See if you can find volcano or something, Jason. Obviously volcano blast. My hobby is volcano. Volcano, okay. Uh, my hobby is viewing. Viewing up. Yeah. That's that's what we need to think about. Oh yeah, my hobby is viewing. It's a very random selection of Pokemon, you can say. I think it's the stuff I've seen. Yeah. I'm not gonna say Volcano Blast. Uh, Burn, maybe? Um... My hobby is hero, it's not a hobby. Neither is viewing. 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 Apparently we'll hero seeing, yeah. is also a hobby. It's just a, being a hero for fun. Like those, uh... Those guys in FF3. <laughs> the the <laughs> fellows. The 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 crystal fellows. <laughs> Their hobby is hero. Their hobby is hero, yes. And it is only a hobby. But they're like incredibly well respected in the town too, so it's like, yeah, their hobby is hero. No one actually thinks they're the warriors of light, but like everyone loves those guys because they're just lovable lovable guys or whatever. The gentlemen of light. They are simply fellows. They are fellows that were chosen by the crystals to be warriors of light that I am now dumbing crystal fellows. I think I made that joke while streaming FF3. Their hobby is hero. It certainly is not viewing. Well, it becomes viewing when they realize that they kind of suck at their hobby. Oh yeah, and then their hobby is viewing the real warriors of light. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh no, eight goblins! We're, we're doomed, we're done for! Oh, we were saved from eight goblins. 
Like, a level 1 black mage can bap it with a stick and it probably still dies in one hit, but, you know. 8 is kind of a high amount, I guess, but... Yeah, but there are four of these crystal fellows. In one turn, there would be four goblins. That one turn is all the four goblins need. To do, what, three damage total between all yes. of them? <laughs> yes. I have pushed the sand shrew out of the way. Pokemon lost its pep. I want to catch something in this desert really bad, but it won't let me. What's in the grass here on 112? I think this is where I start getting Roselia. I think you can get a spicy camel. You can get a spicy camel. But I have a chicken. But is it a camel? No. Is it spicy? It, it is not a camel, therefore it's superior. Just casually doing wheelies in the grass. But is it a spicy camel? No, therefore it is superior. It's not superior though, that's in another gen entirely. Okay, all I'm seeing is inferior. All I'm seeing is inferior spicy camels, so. I think there's a Machops. But I have a chicken. I'm strong, I'm gonna cry when I lose. Save this tweet! Get ready to roast his ass in the QRTs. No oh, sleeve, huh? An uncomfortably human looking Pokemon. Well, it's dead now. Yeah. Not enough for my water Pokemon to water, but you know. No, I don't think I will sing with you. Hey, look, a bird. You don't want to. You don't want to sing with Picnic or Carol. No, not particularly. Fair enough. That one took a second kick. Let's have a different type of bird take care of this thing. You are absolutely going to do fake out. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Lombres are fond of fake out. They really are. Or, or is it Astonish? The, the, they were a, a, an astonishing Pokemon before. In a previous life. Oh man, look at all that lush green grass right around that one tree. <laughs> right. And nowhere else. They're good rocks, Trent. You can even kick this heavy rock. Oh, breaking noises. <laughs> Small Geodude, the size of a large Geodude. <laughs> Angry! And now it's dead. Too bad you're in a generation where, like, Sturdy kinda sucks. Because if you were in a generation where Sturdy didn't kind of suck, you would be fine. Except the second kick would still get, so... I think my chicken is starting to get overleveled. I just don't really have anything to deal with fire or rock, because my water type doesn't know a water. Grab me bandages for my entry! That's my phone! Fine! Have my phone number! Wahahaha. Oh, there's some magma people up there. Volcano blast it all. Oh my god. It's a camel. It's spicy. I'm going to prove its inferiority by drop kicking it. 
You can't just drop kick all of your problems, Dove. I can drop kick this one. It seemed pretty effective. Volcano blast it all. I'm gonna form team wrestling or something and say top rope drop kick it all. Well, it wasn't suffering, so it just died. It didn't get to guts. I need a meteorite to do it. There are other fun things to get in this cave, like, I think a bat and a poison thing. And a spicy camel. And that thing, a turtle. Spicy turtle. These things are actually good EXP, so I'm gonna go ahead and dropkick it. Look at me continuing it. Wow, right, they're physically bulky. Good thing I have antidotes, or this would annoy me. Smug is what, a 30%? Uh, rhythmic static. I didn't want to catch this thing because I, of course, have a chicken. But yeah, actually have decent EXP. Now then, where is my ant dot? There's my ant dot. Oh, it won't have any effect because it was targeting Curly for some awkward reason. Let's not go for the thing that's, like, actually poisoned or anything. That would be silly. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look, a spicy camel, but it's not owned. It's a wild, fluffy animal, therefore I don't need to dropkick it. See? I know I don't have to dropkick all of my problems. Hot camel. 